Hello, my name is Chris Durgans, and today we are going to recrystallize benzoic acid with water. So recrystallization is a very vital and effective method of purifying organic solids. How this works is a solid is chosen to be purified and is dissolved in one or more solvents and filtered to remove any unwanted impurities. The filtrate is then cooled or another solvent is added to precipitate out the desired solid. This process should be done slowly and with care so that no impurities are trapped within the target precipitant. As the solid crashes out and comes together, the solid should come together in a highly organized pattern to maximize the intermolecular forces. If crystallization does not occur, scratching the flask with a glass star rod may initiate the process. Now that we have our safety goggles and gloves on, we're going to go ahead and weigh out around 250 milligrams of the impure benzoic acid. So first we're going to put our weigh boat on the scale, tear it, and then try to get around 250 milligrams of our impure benzoic acid. All right, so we got 0 0.275, That's, that'll be good. All right, so we're gonna add our benzoic acid to our flask. All right, so we put our benzoic acid in our flask. Now we're gonna add 10 mils of distilled water. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna get more distilled water and put it in a different flask. And then we're gonna put both of these on our hot plate and let them boil um, and put them on the hot plate until they reach a boiling. You can also add boiling chips to the benzoic acid and water, um, but we're just gonna heat this and let it get to a boil. While that is going on, we're gonna go ahead and set up gravity filtration. This is what your gravity filtration looks like. So you have a glass funnel, some filter paper, and again, another flask. Once our benzoic acid with water gets to a boil, we're gonna transfer that into our gravity filtration. All right, our solution has started to boil. So we're just gonna remove it from the hot plate and pour it into our gravity filtration. You wanna do this pretty quick. Right now, um, we're gonna take. All right, we're gonna take our warm water that we heated up and just kind of rinse. Flask, and we're just gonna do that, and then we're gonna let this sit and cool until room temperature. While we're waiting for this to cool to room temperature, this is a good time to just kind of clean up your workstation, clean up any glassware that you may have dirtied or um, anything like that. We also want to get an ice bath ready as well. Another thing we can do while we're waiting for this is to also set up our vacuum filtration setup. So this is our vacuum filtration setup. You're gonna have a Bushnell funnel with filter paper that's inside there. You want this adapter, you need a filter flask and you need your red vacuum hose to hook up to the vacuum. You can also get um, put this on a ring stand and clamp it. Um, I'm just not, just this is for video purposes, uh, but so in your fume head, you can clamp it. All right, so it's colder temperature, so we have our flask with our filtered out benzoic acid. We also have um, in the back test tube just 10 mils of distilled water. We want that cool because we're going to use that to transfer it into our vacuum filtration. So once this cools for a couple minutes, we're going to transfer it into our vacuum filtration. So I'll turn on the vacuum. I have our solution in our flask. I'm just going to put it 
to our vacuum filtration. All right, we're gonna take our cooled off our cool crystal water here and just help transfer some more crystals over. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. So we've let our benzoic acid dry. I have a way boat, it's already been teared, and now we're just gonna get a final mass on our benzoic acid. So we have a mass of 0 0.232 grams.